smileys it's ai and this is ai brow smile welcome back to my channel for another video if you're new please subscribe if you like good vibes I am going to talk about the Mary Kay Lifting Biocellulose Mask, which is from their TimeWise Repair Collection. I'm going to talk about how it's used and what the benefits of the mask are. So let's get right to it. First and foremost, you know I always like to start by cleansing my skin or washing my face. So let's start there. I'm going to use my Mary Kay Facial Brush. Typically, I would use the Mary Kay Skin Invigorate Brush, but I am using a older facial brush today. It's just their original facial brush. Unlike the Skin Invigorate Brush, this one has a rotating brush head that spins, which I like. However, this brush does not have an auto shut off or an optional massager head like the Skin Invigorate Brush. Which one do I like more? I can't choose, so I use them both and swap them out whenever I want. But a little about the mask before I get into it. The Lifting Biocellulose Mask is a part of Mary Kay's TimeWise Repair line, which features products for mature skin or skin that shows signs of aging, such as deep wrinkles and sagging skin. Okay, so here's what the box looks like. And they come in a package of four. So you get four individual masks in each box. Here's what the package looks like inside. and they're individually wrapped. So it's really drenched in serum. Just wanna show you how you unwrap it. It's in between two mesh sheets and you're supposed to peel both of them away. What I like to do is put the mask on and then peel the second layer away. It makes it easier. So let's go ahead and apply the mask really easily. And it is covered in product, so that's a really good thing. You get lots of serum on it. And then we're gonna peel away that other mesh layer. Catch it in the right spot, and it'll peel right off. Peel it away, okay? Just like that. Voila. So I found that way to be a little easier than trying to remove both of the mesh sheets and then applying the mask i remove one then apply the mask and then remove the other find what works for you and do it that way biocellulose masks are fairly slippery so these are great masks to use with a jade roller or ice roller or the ice globes or if you have a gua sha those are all great tools to use to use with a biocellulose mask okay and that's it so there is still actually plenty of serum left in the package. You can kind of work it up. Let's see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's, so can you kind of see it squeezing? So if you want, after you remove the mask, if you want to take the rest of the serum and kind of work it into your neck area or areas that the mask don't cover, then that's good too. That way you don't waste any. Okay, I'm gonna wear the mask for 20 to 30 minutes before removing it and I will be right back. Okay, smileys, so it's been about 30 minutes. The instructions for the mask actually say 20 to 30 minutes, but max it out, why not, okay? Take the full 30 minutes, okay? Now we're gonna remove the mask. To remove, just gently peel it away. Actually, I'm gonna start down here. I think it'll be easier. Honestly, it's a little scary. <laughs> uh, and then you just tap in the rest of the serum. One thing I don't believe I've mentioned on any of these videos, wash your hands before you do any skincare. Some people don't think to do that, but it's definitely important. Wash those hands. Okay, and remember I said there's still some serum left in the package, so I'm just gonna take some of that and go down my neck. Yeah, you paid for it, why waste it?
See you guys in the next one. Mwah.